Hello guys, XXHD Productions here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put Devars into a patch. Sorry if I sound a bit different, I'm using my Turtle Beach headset to record my voice now because my laptop microphone seems to have died, but I don't really care. So anyway, this is going to be how to put Devars into a patch. This is a basic tutorial, more advanced patch tutorials will be to come. Right, okay, so basically what you want to do is get yourself a clean patch. When you open a patch, like say so this is a clean one, it's been cleaned by Craig, uh, it'll be a white file. If you want to right click on it, press properties, and then it'll say, I don't know what it'll say, I'll put mine as a notepad for now. And you put it as opens with and then press change. Go to browse, desktop, and then find FF viewer, wherever you've put it. Press FF viewer, press open, and then it will appear there. Press that and then press OK then press apply and then press OK. So now whenever you double click on a patch it will open up instantly with FFU which is quite helpful instead of having to drag it in every time. So this patch was uh, cleaned by Craig Christ. Thanks for that. A lot help. So most of the codes end up in missions.gsc so yeah. This is a clean patch so what I'm going to do is if you look, just scroll down a little bit in the missions you should see on player connect and on player spawn. Now we want it to do is on our spawn. So if you want to just copy this, it should say um, on player connect, player thread, on player spawn. If you just want to copy that, copy, then just go on here, press enter and paste it in. Ooh, we don't know why they put a space. Now this is what you're going to do. Delete where it says on player spawn and change it to do and then whatever you want so I'm going to put do devar so there you go do devars so now what it'll do is it's telling the game that it needs to do this command but you don't actually have the command so if you go down to the bottom I tend to put mine in the bottom it's a bit easier put a couple of spaces then what you need to do is put one of these open like I don't know what the actual name for it is it's these little like squiggly brackets, put an open one, then do a space, and then you want do, devar, I think put one devars, and then like that. So it's got an open bracket and a closed bracket at the end, if I just make sure I've done that right. Oop, bugger. Uh, yeah. Oop, no. Yeah, do devar. No, I put an S on mine, so you need to make sure you put an S, uh, out of them, or it won't work properly. So do devars, and put a Oh, I don't know why. Actually, ignore that. I put that in the wrong place. Ugh. Put a space, then put the um, weird bracket there, the open one, and put another space. And now, then copy the devars that you want. So here are the devars that I'm going to use. Uh, uh, score infections. Right, so for suicide, uh, XP in, say, free-for-all, you, you need these ones. You need... SCR Game Suicide Point Loss 1. I'll put these in the description for you, by the way. So I'm going to put that in. And I also want the actual XP for it. Death Batch score means free for all score, by the way. So I want mine. So Death or Suicide, you get uh, instant level 70. That would equal level 70, by the way. Go to FFU and paste it in and there you go now you've got some devars in which would give you xp online but you need to end the command so just press enter again and then put the close uh, weird bracket and then press save and it should save successfully then put it into your jtag run it connect to it on your jtag next box and then you are done now if you want to go a bit more advanced so you actually know that when you've got into the game it's infected, you can do this. So if I just go on to XP coding, you can do like, I think it's do scroll message. Self print in bold. So I'm going to copy this and put this in the description for you. Copy. Let's put it in below that. Paste it in. So now when you've actually been infected, it will come up, you are now infected with XP devars. Save that. And there you go. So when you join the lobby on your normal Xbox, it'll come up, you are now infected. 
go online, get host of a free for all, and it will be kind of miniaturized temp floppy. So there you go, this is going to be a basic tutorial, I'm going to be posting more tutorials soon, how to edit mod menus and etc. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorials, comment, rate and subscribe for more videos up to come, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the